Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah Chang. I've been on TikTok a little bit more than usual lately, and y'all should follow me on TikTok by the way. But I've been seeing so many makeup packs on my For You page, and I always want to try them, but I just never remember when I'm doing my makeup. So I thought I could save all of them and just do all of them on camera and see if they actually work or if they're lying to us. If you're on TikTok at all, you probably have already seen some of these. I saved a makeup pack for every step, so we're gonna try some things today. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I'm just gonna give you a second. It's right there. Good? Good. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna see if these hacks actually work, just keep watching. So this first one I've seen so many times on my For You page. I think Jackie Ina was the first one to do powder before foundation, but I found the original and this is the hack. Okay, moisturize first, so I'm gonna use the Ankyless Peptide Moisturizer. This is really nothing new, because I always moisturize before I put on makeup anyway, because my skin is dry. I think this is a pretty good moisturizer to do this trick with, because it's a little bit sticky, so I know it's just gonna adhere to whatever's on top really well. So I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder and Rice. It's not completely translucent, but I really like this powder, so I'm just gonna use this one. A little bit dab this all over. Just gonna use this to take away shine. I don't usually powder before foundation and my skin right now looks a lot smoother. Do you see this? I hope it's showing on camera. Okay, I did use quite a lot, but my skin looks really smooth right now. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. I'm gonna use the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. She said any primer, so I'm just gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Okay, now my face feels extremely tacky. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens. Okay, so last step is foundation. And you already know I'm gonna use my favorite foundation, the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. Okay, first impression, honestly right now I can't tell how long it's gonna last, but it does look pretty smooth. This is usually a really hydrating foundation, so a lot of areas, like my forehead, is a lot matter. It has kind of like a satin finish instead of like a glowy finish. There's no creasing around my nose, which is great, but some areas on my cheeks that are usually dry are a little blotchy. I think this method will probably work best for people who have oily skin. I think that's what the powder step is for. And the additional primer, moisturizer, setting spray steps, I think are just for better adherence throughout the day. It doesn't look bad. I think it's worth a try, especially if you have a wedding where you're gonna cry or you got certain places to go where liquid will be on your face. Might be worth trying this step. The next hack is with the concealer and it's a facelift hack. Okay, basically you just apply concealer in the inner corners, vertically under your eyes. Actually, I wanna use a lighter concealer because I think that's what she's using here. Right underneath your cheekbones, right here. Yep, those are the areas she put the concealer on. And that's usually where I like to put my concealer too just because the biggest things I wanna hide is usually darkness around my mouth and redness around my nose. So I don't see this going wrong. Okay, so this side is with the concealer and this side is without. I think that it's slightly more lifted, but I don't know, like I feel like you can get this effect with just putting under eye concealer on. Like most people do their concealer like this anyway, so I don't think it's that much of a hack. I mean, it works, like I do think the side is a little bit more lifted, but I'm gonna rate this a four out of 10 because it does work, but it's not life changing. I'm gonna do the other side. Also, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but under my eyes, it's getting more blotchy by the second. And I think it's because of the primer and moisturizer. I don't know, it's getting a little crazy. Okay, next is my girl, Nikki Tutorials. And in this little hack, she's gonna teach us how to contour our nose correctly. I'm actually really excited to try this because it actually looks like something that will work for my nose, my very round and Chinese nose. Take the bronzer on a brush and literally what you start doing is bronze your entire nose. Okay, so I'm bronzing the nose. I never contoured my nose like this, by the way. Okay, my nose is bronzed. You take your face powder and a dry beauty blender and you're gonna snatch the sides. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go all the way. So let's make it really skinny. Okay, she brought the powder under her eyes like here, so let me just, whew, we need a lot of powder for this. Okay, she also said powder on the nose bridge, so. Okay, let me blend this out. 
and start buffing all of this out until it's soft. Face brush, buff it out until it's soft. Where do I start? Some highlighter to just the tip of the bridge. Some highlighter done. to just the bridge and the tip. And it's done. I actually don't hate it. Before I start buffing, I thought it was gonna look really bad, but it actually looks pretty good. I think this would look better if I didn't do the foundation trick because again, this area is splotchy. So when I buffed it out, it just made it even more blotchy. But this area, I can, I'm happy with it. Wow, so far so good. Okay, now next is eyebrows. And I found this little video on how to make my brows point up. Like the eyebrow lift that I see a lot of people do, but I'm not about to tweeze the ends of my eyebrows. I have like four eyebrow hairs all together. This is from microblading years ago. I am an eyebrow hair deficient individual, so I am not about to pluck out my eyebrow hairs, but I found this little tutorial on how to get that eyebrow lift thing without actually plucking out your eyebrow hairs. I think she actually did shave her brows, but let me just fill them in. Okay, I filled in the front of the brows. Now we're gonna use a concealer and just completely hide the tail of my eyebrow. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> I look like an anime character. I think this might even work better if I use glue. Like if I blend out the concealer, you can kind of still see the tail. So let's just, I know this isn't what the hack said, but I just wanna try it. I'm just gonna let the concealer set for a second while I draw my new brow. This took a bit of work, but I think I think you get the point. <laughs> the concealer isn't blended. I'm just gonna leave it for a second while I do the rest of my face. Okay, now to the eyeshadow, and this isn't actually a hack. It's just a challenge that I keep seeing and I really want to do. Let me just Google. Random number generator. So the palette I'll be using is the Morphe Maddie Ziegler, the Imagination Palette. This is what it looks like and I've been meaning to try it. So it's got 20 shades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, 20 shades. We're gonna generate three numbers, okay? I'm gonna show y'all so you know I'm not cheating. First one is seven. Yep, ye some say crushed. Crushed is the first shade. Second shade, Eight. So the sh second shade is angel. This is number eight and eleven. But go sub sub yet. So crushed angel and dancing queen. This is gonna be a red look. I'm just gonna prime my eyes a little first. So I'm gonna start off with crushed. I'm just gonna pack this all over the inner half of it. Since we don't have a darker shade to use as the transition or crease, I'm just gonna make this kind of like a editorial look. And then I'm gonna take Dancing Queen and just blend this in the outer corners. Not even outer corners, just the outer half. I'm just blending this out so it fades naturally into my concealer. You know what, I really like the shade Crushed layered with Dancing Queen, so I'm actually just gonna put Crushed all over the lid instead of just the inner half and just let it softly transition into the pink. Hmm, it's super cute. And for the shade Angel, obviously, I'm gonna use this as an inner corner highlight, but I don't think that it is pigmented enough by itself. So I'm just going to pick up my MAC Prep and Prime before dipping in. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of eyeliner. I apply eyeliner, so now we're gonna do the lash hack. Okay, I actually used to do this. The hack is basically just to apply your falsies underneath your fake lashes. So I'm using the Ardell Extension FX B Curl. I'm not sure if this is new, but I only recently seen this and it looks so nice. They look like real lashes. These are long as hell though, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to trim. I'm gonna cut them a little bit shorter than I usually cut them because I'm just sticking them underneath my real lashes. I'm applying glue on top of the lash band. If you're thinking about trying this at home, don't. I did read somewhere that this is really bad if you get any glue in your eye and that's bound to happen if you're doing this method. So uh, if you're gonna try this at home, don't. Okay, here goes nothing. I see a lot of comments on TikTok that are like, why would anybody do this? Like, it's so easy to apply on top. And I get that, but at the same time, not everybody has that eyelid space. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. This is what it looks like, no lash band whatsoever. I think this is worth a try. If you have very little eyelid space and you just can't put your lashes on top or it'll hide your entire 
eyeshadow look it's worth a try but you need to be very very careful and you need to be confident with your lash skills i think the trick is just to let the glue really dry so that as soon as you put it on it's on it sticks to that area because of course underneath your lashes it's going to be a lot more watery than on top so you need to make sure your lash glue is really 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 dry so the glue doesn't get watery because as soon as the glue get watery it's going to go in your eyeball so be careful okay and if you try this and get hurt don't sue me so i just quickly did the rest of my makeup and the last hack is actually a lipstick hack basically it's just you can use any eyeshadow to create your custom lipstick so i'm going to use the same palette i just like a natural lip with a crazy eye so i think i'm going to use maddie girl it's a really light peachy shade so i think it might show up like a nude and i got my chapstick here with spf 30 thank you very much i just worry that this might ruin the pan but we'll see oh do you see this as soon as i did this oh it's making a mess the color isn't even getting on the tube okay i've got a little bit of color you see it i think it worked it's pretty blotchy though you gotta blend it out and i think the pan is kind of <laughs> ruined i think a better way of doing this is just to apply a lipstick and then using your fingers and then just dab this color on actually better yet i might just use a brush and now i got that peachy nude shade and it's not blotchy I do like the trick of using eyeshadows on the lips, but you need to be careful of safety because ingredients that are safe for eye cosmetics might not be safe for the lips. So you gotta be careful. I just did this without checking because I don't love myself and I'm willing to take the risk, but be careful if you're gonna try this. I'm just going to set my whole face. And this is the finished look. I actually really like the eyeshadow. I think it matches my little headband. And it's just a color combination I wouldn't usually use. So super fun. The foundation trick, I don't like. It's super blotchy here. It's super blotchy. It created texture that wasn't even there in the first place. The foundation hack was not dry skin girl friendly. But yeah, I hope you guys like this little video. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. And feel free to DM me as many makeup hacks as you want to DM me. Or just funny TikToks. I love seeing those. Let me know in the comments if there's a hack that you learned from TikTok that you actually really like and actually work for you. And maybe I'll try it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and you can see the rest of my videos right here. Just click the next one. You don't got anything to do anyway. You're working from home, so just might as well. I got a whole bunch of videos. Hey, Brandon, come here. Do you like my look? Do I like it? Like... Okay, you know what? Just get out. <laughs> just get out. <laughs>